you don't have to talk about Ukraine. Nobody's saying go out there and um, and if you don't talk about Ukraine, we're going to hate you. Maybe the editors are. I don't know. But my point is, like, you don't have to inject yourself into this. It's very easy not to. A lot of people don't. And they have a problem with anyone pointing out the criticisms of this, just like COVID. It's the same reaction. If you were to go online two years ago and talk about masks or efficacy vaccines or side effects or lockdowns or anything of that nature and be like, I don't agree with the mainstream narrative. People are going to jump on you, call you anti-science and all this other stuff. Just like if you you know, defended Trump, people were going to call you hateful bigoted. But this is that should be a, the name of a, a podcast, Hateful Bigoted. You heard it here first. But some of these people, like you you point stuff out to people like Brian Lilly, and they're going to say you're insane. Another person who I'm going to talk about, because he's one of the, mo- the biggest people talking about this, is Spencer Fernando. Now, I like Spencer Fernando. I've spoken to him on my sh- old show a couple of times. But, you know, he is exercising some really bad judgment here, and I don't think he's going to be able to come back from it. I think this is a grave mistake, and, you know, I mean, I'm not close with the guy, but I, I like I said, I liked him as a person. But this is, you know, the way in which these people and him are dying on this hill. It's insane to me. And he's doing this whole thing where it's like, unfollow me if you don't like this opinion. I've never understood that angle from anybody. They, it means they're really worked up. Because any time where I've thought about, like, I don't want somebody who believes in this to follow me, I've been pretty worked up about a topic. But he's going full, you know, I'm going to delete my Facebook. <laughs> you know, there's people, I can't handle the drama of Facebook. I'm deleting it. <laughs> um, That's how he's acting, and he's got these series of tweets out there, and one of them was, um, if you really think Zelensky is a WF puppet, puppet, WEF puppet, World Economic Forum puppet, biolab, coke addict, blah, 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 this is what he wrote, feel free to unfollow me. It's an absolutely foolish and absurd narrative. No need to waste our time arguing about it. He's posting the Ukrainian flag. Once again, I don't believe he's Ukrainian, and then he's backing up, he is literally an ass kissing what he's doing here to to Pierre Polyev. He says Polyev is showing significant political leadership here, speaking up for the value values and freedom of democracy upon which Canada is built and for which Ukraine is fighting so bravely. This is the most half assed, just like vomiting into your keyboard <laughs> excuse for a, for a position. If you don't support this, this is what Canada is founded on, and these are the values we stick up for, and we're going to ignore anything and everything that we possibly can about Ukraine. And when people point these things out and say how wrong you are, when your followers are all saying how wrong you are, it's probably a sign that you're straying away from stuff. And I think it's going to be hard to come back from this. I mean, you've got Vladimir Zelensky, and the number of whys you put in shows your uh, Pledge of Allegiance, basically. Um, I mean, just off the top of my head that I wrote down, um, he did that weird sexual dancing stuff on some show and some bondage with, uh, several other dudes in high heels and stuff. Red flag. Number one, banned all the media companies. Once the war started, banned all other political parties, banned an Orthodox church. Um, they have literal neo-Nazis in the military that they fund and they're okay with fighting on their side because it helps Al Qaeda comes to help them sometimes. And then 17 other red flags, like he's supported by Biden, loved by Mitch McConnell, loved by Nancy Pelosi, Mitt Romney, Lindsey Graham, Chuck Schumer, all the people, all the people you'd normally be like, hey, it's probably not a good sign that they're all for this thing. Establishment conservatives and crooked Democrats who are you, all the same people are usually in it for the money and don't align with anybody who usually believes what, you know, conservatives actually believe in. And you're just like, this is the greatest democracy. This is the greatest democracy in the world over in Ukraine. Zelensky's the greatest guy. He's standing up for everything we believe him. If you don't like him, then you're a piece of trash, basically. Unfollow me. I mean, it's pushed by the entire liberal media and establishment conservatives. Where can we go wrong here? <laughs> 